Hey everybody, how's it going? Sorry I haven't been super active on here as of late. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. I did want to come on here and do a, a quick update. Actually, going to answer a question. I've been answering some questions with shorts, uh, but this one probably takes a little bit more time than the 60 seconds. So, going to just jump on here while I have a minute. You'll have to excuse me. We're doing another good old car recorded video here. Um, I had a comment slash question on a recent short um, from Julia, and uh, she was asking what I do in the reserves and saying that she was considering whether to go reserve or active. And so wanted to respond to that. Uh, also, we'll start by saying I have a video called My Life in the Coast Guard Reserve, and I have a much older video that is called, uh, I believe it is, Should You Go Active First or Reserve? And th those two might give you a lot of good insight into what you're asking about. But as I said, those those videos are a little bit older. So for a current update, I figure maybe it doesn't hurt to do a quick status update anyway. So uh, for those that don't know, I am an MST. I'm currently a chief MST, and I'm actually on the list for warrant officer. So I, I went, I applied for a warrant earlier this year, and I got the endorsement, the recommendation, and I'm on the list. Uh, and basically how it works is they need X amount of billets for X amount of applicants. So <laughs> without giving all the details away, basically... I'm at the point on the list where I need an MSSR. That's the that's the specialty that I'd be going for as a warrant. I need one MSSR to retire uh, in the next year, or I need one of the people that's currently ahead of me to decline appointment in order to make warrant. <clears throat> if I don't make warrant, I'm about probably 90% sure that I'm going to retire next year. I actually hit my 20 years this month, the end of the month. So um, I had extended for one additional year. So next year, September, I'll be 21 years and I can retire. If I don't end up making warrant, I'm probably going to do that. But if I, if I do get offered it, it's going to be hard for me to decline that, I think. Although it might be a tough decision because I may end up getting stationed pretty far from home. That's usually what ends up happening uh, in that situation. Anyway, um, that's broadly speaking my role in the reserves. Um, specifically right now, I'm at, I'm in PAC area. I'm at what's called the IMAT. I'm at IMAT. I always like saying that. I'm at the IMAT. Uh, it's the incident management assist team. And what we do is we train in emergency management. So it's the incident command system. If you've got any experience uh, with that realm or, you know, within the Coast Guard or emergency response in general, then you've heard of that, that term, incident command system. And we specialize in that. So we train in ICS in order to train in ICS, meaning we we train within and get qualified in certain uh, specialty or qualifications in the ICS world. And then we go and host and participate in other units, um, exercises, emergency response exercises. And uh, in, in those, we act as coaches to help the players in those exercises get their qualifications or get the sign offs so they can get the qualification and get their boards and everything. So that's that's currently what I'm doing in the reserves. Uh, in the past, I worked mainly in either response or prevention. I kind of bounced back and forth over the years between those two. I would say my bread and butter is response. I've spent the bulk of my time in the reserves in response, specifically um, IMD, Incident Management Division. Uh, that's pollution response, basically. 90% uh, of that is oil spill response. 
but any kind of hazardous materials, hazardous substance in the water, navigable waterways of the United States. Uh, in fact, the not to get off on a tangent, but the five elements of a pollution violation is a big piece of knowledge that you, you've got to have as an MST. I do have a video on that topic as well, if you're so interested in checking it out. Um, so that's broadly, again, where I'm at in the reserves. Uh, now, for the question of thinking about going active or reserve, as I always say, I, I cop out on, I, I can't tell you what the right choice is there. That's going to be a personal decision, obviously. As I said, I do have a couple videos that might help in that department. If you, uh, the two that I mentioned, and then also if you just if you just peruse through my channel, uh, not to plug myself, but uh, I have a lot of topics on a broad variety of topics within the reserves and the Coast Guard in general. So there there might be something more there to help you, um, but generally. <clears throat> I would say they're both great options depending on what your situation is. Uh, if you're super open to going anywhere, if you don't have a lot of uh, commitments where you're at, wherever you're currently living, and you just want to get away or you just want to kind of get an adventure, then active duty might be the way to go. If you have if you have certain drives or ambitions on the civilian side that you want to pursue, whether it be college or any other professional line of work that you're kind of looking at, then the reserves might be a, a good option. Uh, for me, that kind of worked out well because I was in college. I was able to use tuition assistance to pay for a good chunk of my college. So I was a student in college while I was in while I was beginning my reserve career. Uh, so that was always interesting, and th that was always a good conversation started with people. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of people in the reserves in general who are also in college, and there's really not a lot of Coast Guard reserves. It's a it's a small service uh, already. The Coast Guard is a small service, and the reserves is a very small sub service of the Coast Guard. So suffice it to say, it's there's not a lot of us around. Um, so it is a it's a cool club to be a part of. Either way, uh, I found in my time that on a whole, the relations between reserve and active is great. I have, uh, and it's easier now as a chief. You tend to get more respect anyway. But really, ever since I was even a, a seaman apprentice. I've always felt welcome by active duty. And whenever I've been on deployments, the common feedback that I get is that the people that are there working outside of the Coast Guard, they can't tell or even know that some of us are active or reserve. They, they can't tell the difference because we all train the same way. We train on the same uh, qualifications and proficiencies. Our standards for advancing, it's, it's all the exact same. So... They're both great options, and there's always the possibility of lateraling, lateraling from one to the other too. So keep that in mind. You can always, um, you can always switch from one to the other uh, if one isn't working out for you, but you like being a part of it. Uh, I do say, I, I always say when people talk to me about getting out of active duty, I always say to at least consider the reserves, look at it um, because of the retirement potential. And because of how many points you will have accrued in any amount of time on active duty, you will have accrued a, a considerable amount of points relative to what you would have accrued over that same amount of time as a reservist. Also, I do have videos on that topic as well. So if you go to my channel and just search reserve points, retirement, words like that, I've got a couple of good videos on that topic as well. And that one, honestly, there's not a whole lot of material out there on YouTube that covers that stuff. That's that's part of why I started this channel was I saw a lot of military channels and there are a few other Coast Guard channels out there that are very good, but there's not a whole hell of a lot on reserves specifically or 
MST life specifically. So, uh, got some good information on that. Um, and anyway, uh, I hope that that helps a little bit, give you kind of a broad idea of what I do in the reserves. And, uh, thank you for the question. Thanks for watching. And, um, for the rest of you, I, I promise I will respond to questions and comments, uh, as I, as I can, uh, as soon as I can, uh, I'm kind of working on getting, getting things settled. Uh, got some big stuff going on, as I said, with the, the warrant officer thing and some things, you know, settling in my new job in the civilian world. So, uh, but, I, but I'm still here and, uh, we'll be catching up with you guys again soon. Thanks for being here and, uh, take care.